New tonight, University of Florida player Keontae Johnson is no longer being treated in Tallahassee after he collapsed during an FSU game over the weekend. The school released a statement this evening saying that he's been transferred to a hospital in Gainesville. ABC 27's Dom Tibbetts is following this story. As the Florida State men's basketball team prepares for their ACC conference showdown with Georgia Tech Tuesday night, the emotions from the events that unfolded in Saturday's contest against Florida are still being felt within this program. When Florida standout junior Keontae Johnson collapsed on the floor following an early timeout, it sent a numbing silence throughout the Tucker Center, followed by a shockwave of emotions that hit this seminal team hard. Today we learned that FSU head coach Leonard Hamilton was ready to respect whatever decision Florida head coach Mike White and their administration were going to make, even if that meant ending the game right then and there. It was an unexpected and unfamiliar situation for many to cope with. My comment was, fellas, the only thing we can do right now, let's pray for this young man. And immediately I had several players on their knees crying and praying. And, and that was from a coaching standpoint, you know, we always, as, as, as human beings, we respond in relation to the experiences that we've had. And, you know, we try to relate to situations as a result of the things that we've learned, seen, and experienced. But, but, but no one, as a, a head coach, I've never experienced anything like this. The latest update on Keontae Johnson is the same. He remains in critical but stable condition. As always, we will keep you up to date as we learn more.